you notice the uh, lava lamp is already moving. Oh. See what that's called? That's called show prep. That was. I turned that on about three hours ago. Yeah, we don't we don't need to sit down and talk about topics and right. do research. It's we just need lamp. to have the lava lamp hot, right. hot and molten. Yeah, it's got some good balls rolling around in there. Yeah, it's good. Well, welcome back, our lawyer list, loyal listeners. We're jumping right into it. It is, guess what? The first podcast of March. That's right. It was uh, election day yesterday, at least here in Texas. I'm so pathetic. You know what happened yesterday? I did all my research. You voted, right? Right? You can tell us you voted. Did you vote for the wrong person? No, I didn't vote. Oh, jeez. I know. Let me tell you why. I did all my research, right? I went to Red, Red Wave... Uh, God, what's it called? Anyway, a website. Uh, uh, there was a there was a website that uh, that one of my friends gave me that he's. Uh, it says they vet conservative candidates, right? So they said if they stand for the following things, blah 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 blah, then we put them on the list. Dudes so like I us. went out, I went out there. Uh, dudes like us, what? Oh, I just thought I'd say that. Drink bourbon. Oh, okay, great. Dudes like us. And uh, and I and I went through all the candidates, and you know, Is that and what it, it says and on it your has voting registration candidates card? Candidates for certain categories. Okay. Yes, it, it, governor, uh, attorney general. Right. Uh, oh, it listed all of them, but it said there were three candidates that qualified as being conservative enough to be on this website's list, right? So there were three choices for governor out of the seven or however many of the world. Right. Anyway, and I went through all this, you know, effort to to go to each person's website and like, you know, read up on them and all this kind of stuff. And I was getting all excited to to you know to vote. Then I had to go pick up Shelley from school, and all of us were like starving to death. And then was it like four o'clock. No, it's like six, six ten. <laughs> it was like six ten. And then we drove by like some fire station, and the line was curled around the parking lot. And we're like, and I'm sure not all of them were that way, but we had our food at Chipotle sitting in the car, smelling up the car, and we're like, let's just civic go. duty. I know or nourishment. I know, right? I, I suck. God. And so we went home and ate, and that was it. I didn't vote. Yeah. Well, and you thankfully. know it's funny, and then I hear that Abbott won by a landslide. Oh, so, he had. Uh, so my vote for for governor wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yeah. Right? So yeah, the uh, he won. He had over seven hundred and eleven thousand votes. The next closest was like one hundred ten thousand. Yeah, it was a Alan West complete landslide. Which, which I actually, like Alan West. That's actually who I was going to vote for was Alan West. Alan West. You know what? You know what? I think isn't that the Batman no, police he's, commissioner? He's badass, man. No. If you look at Alan West's <laughs> that's bio, Jerry West. He played. Uh, not Jerry West, uh, Adam West. Adam West. Um, anyway, what what frustrates me is the media. I don't know if they're out for Abbott or what, but all the news was there's going to be a runoff between Alan West and Abbott because the polls are so close. They don't know. Shit. It was a landslide. The polls don't tell you, Jack. Well, shit. I thought everybody learned that. Well, I know, but the, why does the media keep doing it? Well, because th- that's their it's only the power way. Suggestion. Well, no, is there, well, that too. That's what I mean. Are they trying to get Abbott yes. out of there? Well, because they don't like him. That's part of it, but also they ha- to have relevance before the election, right? Everybody's watching the news to to see what's going. on. I mean, they they're trying to polls stay are relevant. Useless. I know, but the media is trying to stay relevant. And so they're throwing out polls to make people watch, and oh, they're saying that they're neck and neck. Did Beto? You know what I mean? uh, Beto. Yeah, it's going to be between Beto, Beta Cuck, and uh, Abbott. Look, Uh, he won 91% of the vote on the Democrat side. Golly. Wow, look at, how do you say that name? I don't even know how to say that. Yeah, me me neither. Inocentio. Inocentio. Lieutenant Governor. Okay, Dan Patrick, keep going. All uh, right, Lieutenant Governor uh, Texas. Oh, wow, what a split. That's pretty even. All right, then we got Attorney General Attorney Ken Paxton. General. Even, so he, didn't he, there was some... Well, he got busted for yeah, something. Yeah, some controversy there. Yeah. So there is a runoff between uh, Ken Paxton and George P. Bush. So because that, he did get 50%, right? That's correct. And then you, then you had about... What happened? Then you had about 20 judges. All right, hold on. Let's keep... Okay, agriculture, keep going down. <sighs> Agriculture commissioner. Okay, nobody cares about that stuff. Well, railroad, railroad commissioner is important. How did uh, how did Slocum do? There he is Tom Slocum Jr. Fourteen. I didn't why, vote for him. Why is the agricultural um, a commissioner not important? Oh, well, they're all important. That's Democrat. I was I was arguing that those 
that they're not because nobody actually nobody knows what they do. I mean, what what does an agri- agricultural well, they, commissioner they do? Right, the I mean, they commission. Oh, they commission agriculture. Well, they they determine um, <laughs> good call agriculture in right. the state of Texas, right. and they allocate uh, permits and and I'm sure land. They have, I'm sure they have. They so, can make decisions sure that they, affect. I'm sure they regulate shit. I'm sure they make decisions it, that affect a lot of people. Yeah, it seems more to than me, you probably realize. I, I bet they're the ones that um, allocate the 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 ability for homeless folks to to camp out on um, on a public on public <laughs> land. <laughs> But, so what does it say there? So I don't know. Uh, hold on. Where was that other little small factoid caption of the? Yeah, this uh, is too much. Yeah, it's way too much. Right there. So in this, in the state governments in the United States, all. Uh, there we go. Uh, the mm-hmm. official is in charge of the state's agriculture department. The, the commissioners are organized at the na- national level by the National Association of State Departments of Agriculture. Their agriculture commissioners elected to twelve states. It doesn't say shit. This is painful. Down at the bottom. Very painful. It says the powers and duties of the office vary by state. In about 40 states, the department regulates the animal industry, and in roughly half the states, agriculture departments regulate food safety and meat inspection. Okay, so it's significant then. That's important. Correct. Yeah, they're in charge of our meat. 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 And they want to get rid of cows. Well, they, they do. don't. Not in Texas. They, they fart too much. Um, if only we could harness that power. There's a design out there. We just need to... Anyway. Capitalize it. Um and then there was a, then there were six to tape, seven or eight uh, to the tail propositions <laughs> that uh prepositions. They were all kind of silly. Yeah, prepositions. They were all like ridiculously. Well there were two that were that were key. The election integrity yeah, was agreed. key. And the there is gonna be no CRT taught in schools. All right, hold I like that. Are the two. So we have um I thought they were no brands, So though. my buddy down in South Texas won. In a runoff. Mr. No, he did not win. No, he no he won. He won. It was not a runoff. He had sixty three percent, I think, something like that. Sixty two percent. Okay, hold on, go down. Vicente, isn't it? Th- it's he thirty. I think it's thirty seven. District fifteen or sixteen? Isn't it? Uh, that's him right there, right, Henry? Uh, no, it's Vicente. Oh, Vicente shit, all Gonzalez. this time, all this time, I've been sending you the wrong guy. No, you, you've sent uh, the the right guy. No, I didn't. I've always been sending you Queller or whatever his name is. No, you, you've He's you've a, sent some stuff in the past. Oh, have Where I? the hell is it at? Then I must have forgotten. He was in District 15 or 16. He I probably thought. wasn't up for election this round. Yeah, he probably didn't even know. Uh, well, he, they posted it on Facebook. He didn't run. Oh, you know what? It's every two years or every four years. Well, it's every two years for uh, Congress. For Congress people. But and they so rotate. They, they alternate every year. Every year. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So he won last year. Yeah. Okay. So All the, right. Well, that's... Uh, yeah, so the propositions you were, there, there were some strange ones where it's basically where... Where your oh, propositions? Propositions. I kept thinking you were saying prepositions. Propositions. Like, You're like, there is that? one that uh, I have a few nouns. again. There were two that were really important. Adjectives. Actually, I think three. There's one that's interesting where they want to do away with property tax within ten years. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that would be a good thing or not. Well, my, well what do property taxes pay for? Well, that's what I mean. That money has to come from somewhere because that's a huge sum of money. It Does is. The, but but what we're but what. Do property taxes pay for? Well, uh, part of it goes to your school, like your city. Your school tax is a separate tax, but it's based off of your property value. Okay. Well, I know. So there's the Texas property tax, I guess, right? Whatever that is, whatever percentage. Then your county has a property tax. So do and then it, your school district has a has a tax. So do the property tax pay for the uh, administration of the city? Uh, they pay know. for police department, fire we department. Prob- we should probably know this. What does the property taxes pay for? Well, this one is, uh, I'm, oh, I'm assuming go. it's well, a very broad yeah. thing, but it says well, safety. It does say school. School, space, safety, spaces. spaces. What is Sanitation. That? I guess, <laughs> county spaces, streets, spaces. sanitation, services. I mean, you know, it covers a lot of stuff, right? Public so, parks. Park, so, public parks don't maintain themselves. Uh, so what they're, they're, they're suggesting that after 10 years of your house being paid off? No. no. They or, want to do away with them within 10 years. Oh, well, that's kind of silly. Why would they do that? Well, and on top of that, we don't have a state income tax. So I know. Where's, where's their funding going to come from? I guess so what I'm thinking sales tax. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know what the plan is, but... Uh, something happened? I heard something fall. Um, oh, Austin... Was watching. He, he dropped, dropped his a, phone. He dropped a tuning fork. Was he watching porno? <laughs> Why do you have a tuning fork over there? Oh no, know. it's it's a, a it's a needle nose pliers. Okay, well, anyway, what, what I'm thinking is the government. I don't know what their plan is. If they say 
All right, the state of Texas spends ten billion dollars a year. There's two billion that's complete waste. Right. That if we do away with that over ten years, we could do away with property taxes. Right. So I would not want to say yes, I'm okay with that without knowing that there's a plan for that. Yeah. That's you, too broad a question. Well, it's a knee jerk where you're just like, yeah, I don't want to pay any more taxes. But yeah, exactly. If there's not a plan to reduce your spending, right, they're going to have to make that money up somewhere else, right. So it says our lower taxes, better taxes plan will eliminate property taxes for every Texan by 2033 or sooner, while also making structural changes to our system that prevent year-to-year spikes in tax bills. At the same time, we'll rein in irresponsible local government spending. Yeah, there you go. Well, there it is. They, so wanna, they, they, so they do have the a spending. plan. Okay. Control I'm, good, I'm good with that. Well, so. any kind of any time you can get your property taxes down is is huge because you know property taxes are killing everybody because they sure. keep jacking up the value of your property every Correct. single year, which is ridiculous. And if you think about it, uh, because they get money based on the value of the homes, they what's the their incentive is to artificially inflate the value of the homes. Sure. That's right. I mean, and so it becomes, but they can't do that because you can argue it. So if they decide your house is now a million dollars. Prove it. Yeah, but this house just sold for four hundred thousand. What right. makes you wow. think mine is exactly like that? Is worth a million? Yeah, I think you can get away with kind of trimming off a little bit, but I mean, you can't. I mean, it's it's a it's a freight train. If they want to yeah. raise the home prices across the entire the, city, they're going to do it. The concept but of yeah, that's sales of, of the property taxes. If the sales don't match it, they, they can tell you whatever. There's, there's right. two different styles. So you have the Republican style and you have the Democrat style. Republican style, obviously, are you're going to have less. They're going to propose less property taxes because they want less government. Now the Democrats, they're going to want more uh, oh, yeah. government programs. So it's going to require tax spend, more tax and spend, tax and spend, tax and spend. And a lot of those, uh, a lot of those services come from the property taxes. Like I said, safety up there. Well, what about um, food? What is that called? Food. food. <laughs> food. What I, is that called? I like to call food food. Um, yeah. You know the 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 pregnant bitches that are get wow. these little oh wick yeah and wick, stuff like that. You know and, and <laughs> what? You, and, and then you have these kids that you know you get the little coupons and uh, uh, what is that? Food stamps. Uh, food stamps. Thank you. I feel like uh, this is the uh, uh, help me out here. Ten thousand dollar pyramid show. Wick and pregnant bitches. <laughs> but yeah. w- walk me through what the connection is. Well, what is WIC? You ever go to Kroger's and you'll see a little tab that says WIC and it'll have a well, family price. planning, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Basically, I think they get. I, I don't know how, exactly how it works, but I think they get money, right? And this uh-huh. food is you're able to buy it with your WIC funds. Yeah, there's there's like a lot milk, of milk and eggs. Uh, oh, you're talking about you're talking about like food there. stamps. Well, Correct. it's a, a form it's of a version of the version Texas of version. Texas version. It's, I don't know if it's Texas or not. WIC but. is specifically for it's women's infant uh, program or something like that. It's where w- women can go get the formula and stuff designed for the kids. So when you oh. go there and you're uh, involved in WIC, you whip out your ID or you 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 got some sort of a ID code or they just yeah. type it in and it knocks yeah, off an account. Some sort. Why would they have a, an ID? Well, I, I think it's a. I credit mean, my card. God, you can vote without an ID. It's racist to think that a pregnant woman can have an ID. Yeah, mm. very racist. What about pregnant women that don't have IDs? How are they going to get food? <laughs> oh, because they're white. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Speaking of, you know, it is now <laughs> Women's Month. Oh, it is? Yes. Women's Month. Oh, women's appreciation thank month. God. Regardless of color? That it's month just is Women's over. Month. Just general Women's Month. Yes. Women's Appreciation Month. So they're going to talk about, like, Amelia Earhart. And Hillary. No, and not Kamala. Hillary. Not Hillary. We're going to talk about great. Is it Women's History Month or just Women's Month? Women's History Month or Women's, women's History Month. Women's Appreciation or History Month or whatever it's called. Started huh. started yesterday. Well, which yeah, is it? Women's I, History I, Month, right there. Okay, all right. So then they are. Now it says talk. Women's Appreciation Month. Ah, dang it! Which one is it? Anyway, Happy so. Women's Month. So I have to appreciate Hillary. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you have to appreciate her. And Kamala. And Talib. Yes. And Talib. Cory Bush. And Kandenji Brown Jackson. Great yes, that's Bush. the new. Uh, so, so, so they have a date now for. So, who you just mentioned is the uh, Biden's choice <clears throat> for the Supreme Court, and they insisted, they demanded that he nominate a black woman, and he did. And she is going to be uh, in front of the Senate for her confirmation hearing, uh, and I think another month. I forget when they set the date for well, it. Well, you know, I, I wonder how that's going to go. So there's already some stuff coming out about uh, she. Dang, I wish I could remember. 
um, already some you know some controversial things. Uh, I I hope I, I hope that it turns out that she's not a piece of shit and you know it didn't steal sixty million dollars from the Black Lives Matter uh, right. programs or something like that. I don't care if she's white, black, purple. No. I don't give a fuck. You know, it's just the audacity to to pick somebody for a job based on color. being female in color. I know is it's the, really is is the definition of racism. It is. I mean, come on. So if crazy, if the next president's Republican and can replace a, and they're like, I'm going to hire a white man. It has to. No, it has to be has a, to white, be a man. white man. Right. No, it has to be a white transgender. Can you imagine? It only goes one way. That's what pisses me off. I know. Well, you know, maybe we can make some some changes. I don't, I don't care. I, I'm going to stomp and be me. And, you know, it's, it's probably going to prevent me from moving forward in a lot of different opportunities. Career, career limiting? Yeah. <laughs> when you email your HR team and say, can I stop? Can I opt out of these emails? Yeah. Can I opt out of the Black Lives Matter emails? He really did that, ladies and gentlemen. I, I just felt it was inappropriate. <laughs> it's a distraction from work. It's, a sp- it's spam. Spam emails. Yeah, I, I don't need it. I don't need We're starting to get WEN um, emails, you know, the Women's Month. Yeah. And, you know, that's a distraction, too. That's right? how I, that's how I yeah. knew because I got an email. There's, so, there's on, upcoming man. events. I don't need to know. You, you know what I need to know? Why don't you send me stuff re- re- pertaining to my work? Right. Like, what would make me a better, uh, more qualified for my work? How, how can I be better at what I do so that I can step up to the next level? You know? uh, appreciating diversity and inclusion? I don't think that's it. <laughs> I, I already do appreciate diversity. because I, I know. I'm kidding. It, it, and I'm, I'm you know, 90% of the people out there, ninety, I'd say 98% of the people out there do appreciate diversity. Of course. You know, you got a few jackasses out there that yeah, but we don't up sideways. And, yeah, but you don't have to, you know. Go out of your way to say there is diversity. You just have it. Yeah. And you right. appreciate it, and you work with your teammates, regardless of where they came from or who they are or what they look like, uh, and you kick ass as a team. And, and right. check so out the today, women's. Uh, the, they got, uh, the producer they got a, put they got a, a picture up on there. Now, this woman is based in the 40s, back when uh, you know, USO, steel was right? in demand. And uh, you know they're going out to war. Women have must go to the factories, and you know she's dressed in a in a blue collared uh, outfit and an a headband on, yeah. and she's, got, she's about ready. She's making a muscle. Let's take it on, women's. That's Rosie the Riveter. Who's that was? Rosie. The is that Riveter. USO or is that just kind of? Oh, it is Rosie the Riveter. That's Rosie the Riveter. I got your rivet. <laughs> yeah, they were huge, man. In World War II, they were absolutely enormous. Taking they, over. Well, they and, built the planes and the ships oh, and absolutely. all that stuff. Yeah, that's absolutely. when the LGBTQ community started coming out. I don't think so. That wasn't the birth of it. Well, I mean, there were women that weren't sure if they should be met women or men, and then they got into the factories and they were like, <laughs> "I am a man." I'm well, a man. there were some women that were probably like had the pneumatic guns and they were tightening these uh, these nuts on these bolts, and, and they were like, "And they, oh, look at Josie, she's really getting at it." So look at those muscles. Can I touch yeah. that? Yeah. Oh, my my clitoris nice. is really. Your hands really, uh, are very soft. Right now. Uh, whoa, what? Whoa, what'd you say? Nothing, Jesus Christ, what is wrong with yeah. you? Well, I was just, I, I want to make that I, your, I think, new, your new ringtone. I think that they were feeling like a man, so I, things were <laughs> things uh, were hanging well, the poster out. Poster we all love so much was not popular at all during the World War II. As a matter of fact, uh, it was hardly seen. The poster rose to fame years after the war was over, more specifically in the early 80s. 40 years later? Yeah. That's what actually happened. That's called marketing right there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is what, uh, yeah, I guess because what it did, it it took away from uh, the women. It made them strong. And how dare uh, the white man make a woman strong? Keep that bitch down. Get in the back and cook my lunch or dinner or whatever it is that you do. I don't think any of that. Clean the house. I don't think any of that happened. I'm sure. Look, dude, did, you look at all the sitcoms back then. Leave it to Beaver, and you got the mother. Did George Cleaver say Cle- that to, uh, what's her name, Ruth or whatever? Name oh. I think he did. Bitch, give Where's me my, my food. lunch, bitch. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> George. Uh, was I don't think any Archie of that Bunker happened. Archie Bunker did. <laughs> Jesus, Edith, where's my dinner? Oh, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right, so today, today is Ash Wednesday. And did you see the clip of Biden? <laughs> He Biden. had it all over his face. Well, no, no. So, <laughs> so he had he had blackface. 
to, oh, oh <laughs> come on, really? Uh, too far. Yeah. Anyway, so he yeah he had the ash ashes on his forehead, and he was walking, and he uh, he and his wife were walking, you know, into the White House or whatever, and he stopped and took questions, and somebody goes, uh, so you're you know you're Catholic, obviously, right? Um, so how can you be a Catholic and support abortion again? Did he turn around and leave? No, he started getting pissed. And so we started engaging the reporter. Really? And, and Jill walked up and with a plastered, you know, you know, f- smile on her face, you know, heh, 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 walked up and grabbed his arm and kind of nudged and pulled him away from the reporters and, and kind of ended the discussion. He I'll has, take you under the bleachers well, I mean, and what, your head. Here. What's your argument? <laughs> if yeah. you're a devout Catholic. And you how, cannot be for abortion. You right. can't. How, how does he? I don't, I don't understand how he navigates that. Yeah. And he had just come from the bishop gave him communion and 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 you know put the cross on his forehead. I mean, what did he say? Was he like, "Listen here, man, he we got like, back and fight. Come on!" I don't know. He went, yeah, he started to get fired up. Come and, on down and, here, and pony Jill, boy. I think he's got a temper. Oh, big time! You think if you question him or, oh, or he's any, a narcissist, oh, yeah. he is a huge temper, huge narcissist. And so she, man. he, she was leading him away, and he was like, "I'll tell that the son of a bitch." Uh, 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 and he was, I'll you know, doing his, him. doing his, you know. So Gate. his old man walk. Old man walk. Uh, there's uh, uh, a there's a YouTube. You see him walking God. into the 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 chamber uh, uh, with his did old man a, walk. Did he have a walker with like tennis balls on the front? I got so mad. I had to turn it off when he was just lying. After, and then and then he said something about we have to secure the southern border. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I missed it. I was oh, driving yeah. no, all over no, the place. No, that was last one of the night, things so he said. You know, it's important it. that we secure the border. Okay, then do it. I mean, the audacity, the sheer. A year and a half, the, not, the no, about sheer, a year later. What a hypocrite from hell. I mean, unbelievable. Anyway. And you guys watched I, the State of the Union last night? That's what he's talking about. Well, that's what about. I just said, yeah. Oh. I, I watched about 10 to 15 minutes, and I'm over there grumbling. I was watching it by myself. My wife was working uh, on her computer, like, in the I, kitchen. I watched the whole thing. This was funny. I was like. Twice. I was talking to the TV the whole time. Oh, really? Really? You know, I'm getting all <laughs> bent out of shape. So I watched it and once. Then, and then they would stand up and clap, and I'd be going, oh, oh yay, my God. Yay. And then watching Pelosi back there, I would just become an evil. Oh, oh yeah. there are so oh, gaps I was like, that she did too. I was you, totally like, there is no Paul, only Zor. Well, I saw Whenever, the one where. Every single where, time I saw Pelosi. Well, I saw the one where he, uh, Biden was talking about inhaling the, the burn pits. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And she gets up and starts rubbing her knuckles. She well, stands up and starts rubbing her knuckles. And no, the sh- there was some. She did that. Yes. Yeah, she, she did the head she, thing. Well, not she not was, that much, but. She was rubbing her hands together like she was having some sort of. Yeah, they, they commented on that. Like some weird conniption, you know, and it was it was very odd. Well, she still was, was smiling. It, it was, was right not before. A, a good thing uh, that he was saying. Biden no. was talking about some of the soldiers that, uh, like, they, they had a woman in there. And her husband had died because he was manning the fields in there where they were burning shit, you know, and he got lung cancer or something. And he was. Uh, and they're going to take care of him. And they were navigating. Hit through his speech, and they were like they were they were bouncing from topic to topic, in, in uh, so that he could say all these things. So he was talking about the the field where the the, the soldiers have cancer. We're going to take care of those those uh, those people that got cancer. Then it showed a picture of his son that died. I know very well about losing a loved one from cancer, and it showed a picture of his son on there. And you know, it, and it's kind of like you're kind of thinking, right? Well, was his son in the military? No, and, you know, no. he just had a brain brain tumor. You know, well, I no, he was he wasn't in the military, but it's just it, it's all that power suggestion and the, what they did with the pictures and right. the way they wrote the the speech. So they had pictures during the State of the Union. They uh, well, for some reason, I saw it on the TV, so I don't know if that was. So the media was ready to go with a picture of his they've son. Never, I don't think they've ever done so, that before. Uh, right at that time, when uh, he was talking. About um about that he was talking about the cancer you have uh Lauren Bogert in the back ground oh, yeah. and she was talking about oh, she heckled him oh she, she did. did she heckled him right at that point because you know uh, I've There's lost a loved one of them. and you know and, and you know where, where you have your the soldiers covered uh, with the coffin with the flag she goes yeah she goes, thirteen yeah of them. thirteen of them. And then it was like, whoa. Yeah, people apparently booed. I turned it off at that point because I was getting so pissed off. No, but you know what? Good for her for doing it. Oh, because a- absolutely. These people need to stand up uh, more to him because especially in his face, in front of, front of God and everybody. I mean, you know, Pelosi was a jackass. She looked like a fucking clown up there. I know. You know, in that whole little thing that she was doing. I wish we could pull up a, a video uh, of her doing that. It was so weird. 
it was almost like gleeful. It was. It, it's like a child. Like it, I can't wait to hear what he says it, next. But she wasn't rubbing her hands. It was like her knuckles. It was her. It was her. Her fist that she was rubbing she was together. Like this, yeah. It was kind of like a fly on a piece of shit, kind of rubbing it together and feeding. You know, it's just like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe she's an alien. Yeah, and I, 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 again, I didn't watch it, but apparently that uh, she has dentures, and I guess oh. she was just she goes to, she did the same thing having all kinds of problems with she, her dentures she was or something, slime in everywhere, just, well, trying she, to keep them in her mouth. She's and, eighty-one years old. Yeah, well, is she eighty-two? She's so. eighty-one years old. Does that make her exempt? Why is she there? Well, right. Why is well, she, she there? Needs to retired. Why Live is anybody for, over the age of seventy-five in Congress? Live the rest of your days. In peace. It says, it says here. Relax. Get out. Uh, it says, Just get out of Congress if you're Crowder, that Stephen Crowder reacts to Nancy Pelosi uh, saying, uh, Nancy looked like a, a squirrel on drugs. And that's kind of a, a, a good uh, analogy. Yeah, see, if, see if our, our producer can find that. You know. So Crowder, Crowder, Pelosi. Yeah, oh, Na- I see well, it. Nancy Pelosi is a squirrel on drugs. What a weirdo. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it was just. There you go. There you go. The second one. In fact, there was uh, well, she was standing up and sitting down, standing up and oh, sitting down. Oh, they all down. were. They and, all were. Well, and for what? Well, my point is, is that when she was one of the times she stood up, she fell forward. And uh, what, was what that? kind of look is that? Look at her teeth. I think her teeth come out of her mouth oh, or something. It's so painful. Oh, well, Crowder was like really dogging her. So I watched it twice. I watched it uh, the regular uh, news feed from uh, the White House news feed, and then I watched the Stephen um, Crowder, where he basically uh, he watches it at the same time, and it's kind of like that that science uh, mystery science yeah, theater. mystery science theater, and they're just commenting and they're they're fact checking as it goes along, and burp, that's fake. And every time he has a gaff, they drink. You know, uh, so they're all in the back. And oh, they'd be shit right. Oh, man, they, they were kept drinking. It was hilarious. So Steve Crowder, you know, they're almost as funny as we are. <laughs> they're, 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 they are. I'm, I'm, I'm giving props. Oh, was really, oh and there, there, then there was a section where he said Iranian instead of Ukrainian. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they uh, Kamala is in the background going, Ukrainian. <laughs> oh, really? She's mouthing it. Yeah, she's mouthing it while he's... Anyway, yeah, it, it anyway, was, was painful. I, I quit watching it. I, I didn't watch any of it. He mumbled a lot because he's reading a lot and yeah, a lot. Well, but I mean, it was only an hour have, long. Did you have captions on? How, well, they've got the screens up there for him. How how long is it? No, is, did you have captions so you could follow? Yes. What? Yeah, it was all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, bunch of M's did, and B's. Was it, was it, did we talk about this? Uh, where there was a translator who like threw up his hands because he didn't know what the hell Biden was saying or. <laughs> Trying to I say don't know. and couldn't. Who's that dude? Dennis Mc, McNaw? McNaw who? Oh, what is that? I miss that. Thank goodness. I keep watching her stand up and yeah, rubbing was... her fist together. That's just so odd. She had a little dance like she was about to, you know, she was getting confused between, I don't know, if I'm going to have a vodka or am I going to have an ice cream or am I going to have yeah. some more denture cream? Speaking of vodka. she Her eyes look kind of bloodshot. She looks like she kind of pounded a couple before she went went into the chamber. I would. Yeah, you'd be, shit. You'd be stumbling around. Oh god, Look I don't want to watch that it's anymore. It's like, oh, do me. She just juiced herself. <laughs> oh, stop. I mean, that's what she looks like. Yeah, it looks awful. That's Dennis McDow, the veteran affairs Dunno. secretary. Dunno. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so um, oh damn. You just have a brain fart. Yep, it's oh. gone. I had a Biden. Had a Biden. Wow. Yep. So who else do we have besides Contangi Brown Jackson that they're nominating? Uh, no one. That's it. Uh, well, that's well, it. well and, and that's typical. Well, he had a list of three well, I've that got he was four. looking at. I've got four. No, he picked. He, he, he nominated Katanji. Uh Out of the, the four. Out of the four, yeah. So he had a list of three or four. That's what oh, Trump even had that. He has a list, and he goes, okay, we're putting up so-and-so. And then he goes to that Breyer, and then he goes to. Stop. Stop clutching your chest! Oh God! Stop I, I wasn't it. sure what that was gay? all about. I thought maybe e- either he's a he's a, a just a huge cocksucker, or he had some <laughs> sort of heart condition. He was grabbing his chest. Stop it, dude! He totally is a flamer. Did you see the that, whole thing? It, I, I thought it looked a little feminine. To I be mean, honest, you didn't even have to, to you you didn't even have to hear it to 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 see the lisp just coming out of his mouth. Wait, hold on. What's wrong with the lisp? Well, there's oh. nothing wrong with it. It's just distracting oh. from I, the, the, the reality of I have a, a vote. I have, I have a lift. 
No, but his is well, different. Well, they don't hear it because you have your windscreen. I have a yeah. semblance. A semblance screen. <laughs> but anyway. What? I don't care if he sucks dick or not. I don't. It's none of my business. Uh, wow. What? Wow. Too too much. Much. Do we too know much. this? I mean, we're throwing out lots of accusations. Yeah, we are. Well, is he gay? I don't know. Of course not. How, what do you mean, of course not? Oh, you can't be gay and be on the Supreme Court. What kind of bullshit is that? Well, you said it for me. They have black people already on the Supreme Court, so oh, I don't know what your problem gay? is with that. You're saying black people are gay? I uh, hope they're uh-huh. happy. Clarence Thomas is awesome, actually. And they gave him so much shit when oh, yeah. the Democrat Party... Anita Hill, Anita... Oh, no, they're oh, accused yeah. him of rape? Absolutely. No, put his pubes in her food. Uh, are you kidding? Isn't that what it was? Uh, what? You know what? <laughs> what are you talking Actually, about? You're, I think there's. I hope you're kidding. There, no, there's there, some pubic there hair is, involved somewhere. There's something that that, <laughs> oh and he was comparing. It was it was a pubic hair. It was my hair on my head. You know, it's like what the hell, man? What, I, people are fucked up. I mean, we live in a fucked up world. We totally do. And that was like, but that was back in the eighties. Yeah, that was uh, first Bush, wasn't it? Bush, good lord, and the pubes. George oh, Bush okay. Sr. I can't do this. <laughs> let's talk about sharks eating people. Well, how about we talk about our Good bourbon Lord. first? Oh, let's do that. We didn't talk about the bourbon. Sean, All right, so we went out? to... We went um, local. Where, where's, I, I, Liquor King. Liquor King. Yeah, we went to Liquor King. And I guess if you don't know, we go to Liquor King. We, well, we go to Total Wine and Liquor King. But it's Liquor a King, two-stop thing now. It, well, <laughs> it, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> and it's, it, you know, they're remodeling Total Wine right now. So we're kind of like, well, yes. you pieces of shit. You're skimping on a few things. But Liquor King has uh, the, the thing that Liquor King offers that the others don't, at least that we've known, is that you, you build up a, a, a credit system, and for every dollar, you get a, a, a point, and I oh, guess, or something program. like that. A, a loyalty program. And the loyalty program, you accumulate them, and they've got the unicorn liquors that are on the back shelf uh, behind the register. You know what it's like? It's like going to main event, and you have enough points. Enough tickets. Oh. Yeah, you and you can, get, yeah, you can get the big the big cool toys. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, exactly what it's like. I was it, always for, for able men. to rip the... To, to beat the system every time we just we can't. I don't know how to do it this How'd way. How'd you do that? Oh, uh, we'll talk about that later. Well, we're beating the system by all three of us buying on your card. Yes. Yeah, yeah we are. We're we're tripling up our points. Actually, uh, Mr. Producer, do you recall which? Uh, I don't know if it was a Peter Popper Pizza or if it, we went to some sort of place where you got tickets coming out of these little machines, and we uh, the machine was broke. I don't know what's wrong with it. And it kept you, going. You, would, you you would grab a ticket and more come out, and it just kept coming out. That's perfect. And so we walked like fifteen feet over. You know the little machine that receives the tickets, <laughs> yes. and so it's chopping it. And so we've got this conveyor. That thing is super cool, by the way. We've got this <laughs> conveyor. And it's all <laughs> gong, 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 gong. So, so it's coming out of the machine, right into the machine. It's coming <laughs> right out of the machine, and we're we're, we're just we just keep going. And it, You're keeping it from getting snagged. Oh man, I I know I was a bad father that day, and I taught my kids wrong. Whatever. But it, well, what'd you get out of it? Uh, I don't remember. It was a bunch of bullshit. But I, I do remember. Where <laughs> I got a picture. Uh, I got a picture of Madeline and Emily, and they have like these tickets, like just they're, yeah, they're, ridiculous. Yeah, because after the after the machine ran out of tickets, the guy went over there and it put more in, and then it kept doing it again. And then we went over there, and you, well, you'd have to go in there and you'd have to play the game and let, let it get a ticket to come out. Once a ticket came out, you just grab it, and it just kept going. <laughs> and so, rinse, repeat. We grabbed the ticket out, Mr. Producer. Do you remember that? So you now have part ownership in that pizza place. <laughs> that's well, why they went out of business. Yeah, that's well, how many points you we got. almost had enough points to get the Xbox. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember we we would play skee ball at some same kind of the deal, and normally when. It, whatever we would hit, it would spit out two. But on this other one, it didn't matter what you hit. It spit out like eight or ten. Right. So it was like, you know, calibrated wrong. And yeah, you got to find the machines that are jacked up. Yeah, Gaddy Town. There you go. Gaddy Town. There you go. Yeah, I don't anyway, know. Anyway, and then, yeah, you just keep staying on that machine, and it just you keep racking up, you know, racking up points, right? Yeah. Well, but I, usually you get stupid little Chinese stuff. Oh, oh it is. Man. It's just little tchotchke Pencil, things little, that yeah, end up on the floor for you to step on. Stupid little plastic spiders. But it's exciting. I enjoyed it. Oh, that's fun. You know, and plus they get the, like the little, you know, one of my favorite candies. I mean, I, I hate to eat it because it's way too sweet. But as a kid, it was just like, you know, the little dip and stick stuff where you it's have It's just a, like pure sugar that you it, lick. It's, it's a pack. Well, you get yeah. a little dipping stick that's made out of candy. Gross. And you got like a little packets of Kool-Aid. And you, you deep know, throat it and you like stick it in there and. 
Yeah. Eat it. Is that what you do? <laughs> yeah. What do you do? What do you do, Sean? No, nah, you just you dip it in the uh, uh-huh. the powdered sugar dip flavored. Like, like what do you have to, strawberry, you have to get the stick blueberry, first? Blueberry, dip and cherry. And stick you it take where? the blue stick and you put it in your mouth. In your mouth. Yeah, like a lollipop. Uh, yeah, I'm not talking like a kielbasa sausage or something. Hmm. What the hell, man? Hmm. Interesting. What kind of dipsticks you using over there? <laughs> okay. I enjoyed. It. I liked that. Uh, that was one of my favorite candies. That you know, yeah. at the at that type of store. Or gaming place, the platform main event, Getty Town. Oh yeah, they're all that way. You know, there's what's a, the uh, what's the the what's army? The, what's the really big one? Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck e. Cheese. Those are going out of business. Well, they sold beer. I think the ones around here are all out of business. At least the ones we've been to. That's because they're they that that was shit. so bizarre when I took my little kids in there and I was like, and then there was a beer tap. I was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, natural light. Yeah. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. But that place is so sticky and gross. Yeah. It's just all, the, all the kids just, oh. just oh, that's awful. Oh, everything. I would have a blast. I would climb up in the tubes. I'd jump in the, in the little box. Well, those would, things are why like, does that not surprise me? Well, those tubes are just like fungus oh, yeah. houses. Anyway. And then you'd like you jump in and like you find a little area and you're like, dude, some little kid, you're yeah. kind of like you like shit, shit your pants. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody and shit I, their pants. And I'm up in the tube. I'm hang I'm suspended in the air in front of everybody up there. Hey, so I'm not having, designed for adults. I'm having uh, conversations with the kids, these little t- like three, four, five year olds, and I'm like, Come on, you little shit. You know, go change your freaking underwear, your your diaper. Go nice. to your mom and dad now. Because <laughs> that hey, shit falls out and it's you need to go and get your mom now or I'm calling the police. You know, I was just <laughs> They're like, some creepy white man wants to touch me up in the tube. Is I that, hope that didn't say that. Is that why you were... <laughs> 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 You gave him a little nudge? I could, but that's why I he got kicked out. He touched me up there. Yeah, but dude, have you ever been up there in the catacomb? No. Uh, why uh, why uh, would I do that? That's I not never, design, I never designed oh, for it's, adults. It, they're, they're, it's, it was a lot of fun. I'm sure it was. Yeah. Anyway, so Liquor King is basically that same thing for, for men. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where we get our points. And we get our unicorns that yeah. we pick off the wall, but we've never done it yet because we haven't gotten enough points yet. No, we're 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 under a thousand. We, we need twenty five hundred uh, minimum to get the, the the top. Well, that's the maximum, really. Well, uh, no, well, well, yes, there's one up there that was four thousand points. Oh, I didn't see that. That was the Jesus. Uh, that was the old Forester <laughs> uh, birthday. That's four thousand dollars, man. What yeah, that just gives of... you the oh, right. Oh, it is a point per dollar. Something like I that. Think so. Oh shit. I don't want to know when we reach four thousand. I don't. I don't. I don't. We're like six hundred right now, and we still have to buy it. Yeah, you, that that's the thing. You, you don't just get it. The right you, to yeah, buy you it. don't get it for free. You you, and you still have to purchase it. Yeah, yeah. and it might be two hundred bucks. No, nah, well, some well, of those are two hundred bucks. Some of them, but the ones we're looking at, they with seem the Wellers. Reasonable. God, I'm but but crazy. for those, I mean, those aren't those aren't marked up. I mean, that's just retail. Because a lot of those things, if you find them aftermarket, those ones that are hundred bucks are going to be five hundred bucks. Those unicorns that you can't find anywhere, yeah, just stupid expensive. So you know, if we were to pool our alcohol money, we could probably buy an investment home. We could probably buy a small island. We could probably <laughs> <laughs> we could buy a, a Epstein's rent, we could Epstein's buy a island rental home. <laughs> A rental condo anyway, on Miami Beach. Well, talk about the, the bourbon real quick. Yes. All right, so it's it's Rebecca Creek straight bourbon whiskey. It's ten years old, and that is the number one reason why I picked it up. It's because it's ten years old. It's um, most most bourbons you get that are aged that long. They just have a really solid, smooth taste to it. Oh, it's nice and rich. It's actually. I was hoping it'd be a little stronger. Yeah. I mean, it's a little low for us. Uh, you know, ninety. And I, I don't want to sound like a snob, but you know, still tasty, still very good. It, it, it is, is just as tasty as those uh, hundred, hundred ten plus. I, I, I disagree with that. I don't. I, I think it's it does have a good taste to it, but I, I would. What I could have been at one hundred and ten? What Pardon? could it have been? What would that taste like at one hundred and ten? I, I think it'd be more potent. Obviously. Yeah. You know? Anyway, it's uh, this is a this is distilled and bottled. Down in San Antonio. San Antonio. I know. I like that. I like that it's a local Texas bourbon. Oh, so it's the same aroma as a well, uh, like uh, like a trail mix, as is what they're insinuating. You know what? It, it's the aromas that you would get from a trail mix, like peanuts, you know, caramel oh. dips, salted pretzels, toffee, coffee. Oh, you're not chocolate. kidding. Everything you'd find in a, in a trail mix is in that. Chocolate, oh. caramel, chocolate frappe. Yeah, it says caramel dipped salted pretzels. That's what Sean called Toffee shit. coated peanuts. <laughs> Chocolate frappy, frappe, frappe, toffee chips, and Good toasted Lord. coconut. That is literally a trail mix. So, anyways, this uh, this ten year 
uh, Rebecca Creek. Um, I give it a six. Uh, I would go higher. I give it a seven and a half. Yeah, I think I'd give it a seven. Well, the only reason I don't go higher is because of the proof. Yeah, but it's not about the proof. I mean, what's the point of the proof? Uh, in in my opinion, to get a buzz, to get drunk. No, in my opinion, I think the higher proof whiskeys, forts slash bourbons offer a offer more depth in the taste, a richer flavor. Yeah. Not yeah, saying this. Not to say this one's bad, well, but no, but what if you had no idea what the proof of this is? What would you, you could, honestly say? You the could proof still is? go because I would do uh... it's Star Wars. <laughs> um, it's because it's got a bite. It's got a, a, a tiny bit of a burn, well, and I it's super rich. Cubes in mine, I so. would definitely put it over a hundred proof. I'd say, not knowing. I'd say eighty-seven. If, if I had <laughs> <laughs> tops, ninety-one point three. All right, so put it back on Rebecca's anyway. Creek. Where, where is the Rebecca? Is, is there a re- creek or something? Um, yeah, you Rebecca said it was a, a distillery. It was a limestone a aquifer. Yeah, that pulls the water from the hill country. Are you able to scroll down? There Edwards. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. It says on the back. I can just read it. So a bourbon whiskey. Edwards Aquifer, yeah. Edwards Aquifer. In, Which is in the, in hill, the hill country. In the hill country, yeah. The limestone filtered water. Somewhere around San Antonio. Uh, the charred oak barrel gives bourbon a distinctive. So they're just giving some random general. Uh, but look, at they got a, the, the Glen Cairn Canadian whiskey glasses. Wow. Uh, so they does that say Canadian? Yeah, it, it did. It said Canadian whiskey. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, the Canadian whiskey glass. So what is the difference between what, what uh, so it's is, got a, it's got a does it have the the stem on it? Well, I'm curious if if the Glen Cairn is a Canadian type glass because Glen Cairn is what Irish? I don't know. The Scottish. <laughs> it's called Ash. Well, of course, Glen Cairn. Um, yeah, well, I don't think it's Canadian. I, I think it's just the style. Maybe maybe. Now we're talking about the glass. Yeah, the glass. <laughs> really? So I wonder. <laughs> So there are some there are some distilleries here that we can visit because Garrison Brothers is not very far from San Antonio. No, it you're, isn't. You're going to have to talk in your microphone. And we so, could totally do a you know how the bourbon you know the bourbon tour. So you're saying we could can, totally do a Texas bourbon tour. We could because there's places there's Balcones in uh, Waco, there's Nine Bandit in Austin, there's Rebecca Creek in San Antonio, there's Garrison Brothers in High. Is that what where it's at? Which is like an hour um, north dang, west. You're right. We could totally do, and We'd then do one and then day. grab some wood, and come back. We do. We have to do one a day. Don't get crazy. One a day. You want to do this in five days? Yeah, it'll be like a week. Well, hold on. You want to do this in a day? Two tops. Probably two days. We do and then on the way on back, the way we grab a whole thing of of wood from the mill. Here, here's what I think. And come back. Uh, I think that um, I, I, you wouldn't want to crunch that much because you're going to want to sample it. You want to have to in, in, enjoy it. I, I'd want to. I'd probably do two. Well, the tours only take a half hour, forty five minutes. It, it's we could totally do like it's not an all day affair. No, it isn't. Well, uh, well all right. Well, I, I was. But I like where we're going be. with this. Yeah. It's one of those things we're going to talk about, but never do. Or dudes know. like us, We're not we, we've whatever. opened up a, a new chapter, <laughs> and you know, for our fans out there, all two, you know, thanks, mom, dad. Uh, the uh, our fans out there, you know, we've uh, acquired. Uh, I have that downstairs. A Chanted Rock vodka. It's actually very good. A CNC machine with a um, that we put a router and and uh, or uh, an etcher on there. So we're starting to do some crafts, and uh, Mr. Paul over here. Uh, found a source for picking up some wood. The offcuts, they're not offcuts. First it's cuts, more of like offcuts. The, uh, you know, when you get it, when you get the the lumber and it's coming as in the tree form, well, they slice off the the bark and they uh, they move it ninety degrees or shift it over ninety degrees and they cut it again. And the offcuts of that is what we're picking up. So we've got these. So look at the bark on one side. Yeah, it's very flat on one side yeah. and it's got the bark it's, on it's the other. It's flat and beautiful on one side yeah. and it's got a rustic. Cool, natural bark on the other. Right. Yeah, so we're, we're going to we're gonna come up with, so I think we need to tie that in, just like you said. We need to go get a trailer full um, of the wood, and we need to do it soon. I mean, uh, and then where are we going to store it? Well, I think over at Paul's, he's Paul, got the, Paul's? The, the thing. We just need to get a tarp or two, depending on how big the be, pile is. Man, here's my, my Put fear a tarp down. of that, is that it's going to create an ecosystem over Underneath at Paul's house. 
Pardon? Underneath the tarp. It just it's, it doesn't matter. It, even what, if there's not what, a tarp, what, what, it'd be what, in the pile. What about if it's well, of course, yeah, because it's just in a pile down in wherever this is at, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be kinda I, I don't know. I mean I'm I'm trying to figure out where we where we can process this. Probably, I'm thinking I was thinking maybe we can get a storage unit. But is there something we can build that that would be better for, for wood storage? You could build like a uh, a shed? No, seriously. Like a shed that and no, keep it off the ground. Like, you know, vacuum packing the <laughs> Vacuum packing. Yeah, let's do that. With like your a food, food saver. A food saver. A gigantic food saver. Yeah, that's ridiculous, but it'd be fun. It would be fun for well, you. Well, there's, there's, there's going to be wildlife and insects and all kinds of shit, so we're going to... You have to be careful, right, because the brown recluse and all that shit's going to be in there. No, I'm just saying, if we wanted to build a shed... On that side of the of my house, and then we store the wood elevated on shelves, I, like, like a lean to, like a lean to. I'm not a with fan palm of that. fronds. And, and this is me. Sheds period in Texas give me the willies. You know, it's just a, it's it's, a, it's an ecosystem for for uh, for for rats, mice. How is that any different than throwing a tarp on the wood just laying on the ground? Agreed. So what's the solution? I, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with it. I'm thinking. Oh, even, I was thinking in, a, of even a, in a storage shed, you're still even a storage the, shed. You'd have the same thing, but you know, at least less of it. Uh, possibly. I think you'd have more rats because yeah. you're inside. Well, I think outside you'd have more like bugs and no, shit. There's no rats getting in my in my shed. No way. Not the way I'm going to build it. It's hermetically sealed. <laughs> Absolutely. Like the biodome. Well, yeah. hold on. Yeah, if like the biodome. That's exactly what I was thinking, a biodome. I, I thought if, <laughs> if I want to build a bio lean to <laughs> were to get a, a, the the machinery down and we dig a hole in the backyard and we were to do the, <laughs> the underground. That we're, we're doing a prepper, a prepper hey, cellar. Man, tornado shelter. Just to store wood. We want <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. My wife's like, you want to spend 80000 on what? We got a place to keep the wood. Well, you know, it needs to be cool. It needs <laughs> to be dry. It, it's coming out of our dudes like. And if Russia account, attacks so us, we can also that. be safe down there. Yes. Yeah, and plus, I was thinking we can have like a, a gun range down there, <laughs> a bowling alley. So it's like a hundred yards. <laughs> no, a, not a bowling ball. alley. Yeah, like a forty foot ski ball. No, maybe a shuffleboard, laser tag. Ah, oh, we could put laser tag down in my in my uh, yeah my bomb shelter. Have you played laser tag lately? <laughs> it's so stupid. No. no, laser tag is is fantastic. But go, go, have you played? Yeah, you just it? sit there exactly. You just sit there and you blast the person standing next to you. You know, over yeah. and over and over again. It's like, have you played it lately? Oh, oh, has it changed? They told, yeah, they changed the rules. So now the laser no. burns. No, <laughs> <laughs> you the really kill the person. <laughs> the difference is, okay, is that we would die. Yes. Because We're we would run slow. 10 feet and be done. S- sniped. Okay, I don't do that. I hide. Are we quick scoop? First off, I, I find it to be... I'm, I'm telling you. I get scared I, and, I and, and, and go and fetal and just hide in the corner. I, I play with, with Austin when we go down there sometimes, and I'm, I mean, I'm freaking, I'm out of breath. It's like, I have to stop. I don't give a fuck. And that's why you hide. It's because you can't breathe. Hmm. So you get out of shape and no, can't breathe I at laser tag. Oh, dude! Yeah, it's really ha- okay. Again, wow. When is the last time you played laser tag? Um, back when I was skinny. Okay, Jeff. Uh, it's probably about, probably about six years ago. Yeah. Back when he was skinny. When the boys were doing it. Doing what? Well, six years ago, Steve. Yeah, probably <laughs> doing it together. Once my boys started doing it. Yeah. I said, "I'm gonna go play laser tag. I can't handle this. I'm getting out of the house. It's too noisy." <laughs> laser tag is actually kind of fun, you know. And, and you, you, you got to keep moving, though. You got to keep moving. And uh, there's also yeah, shut and shut up. If you're going to start giving us laser tag tips, I'm oh, gonna, dude, look, I'm the, signing off. The the best thing to do is juke. You are. The, He's giving us laser no, no. tag look, tips. This is this is sincere. First off, dudes like us don't play laser tag. The dudes like us can't play laser tag. They if you know how. Don't. You got to go in there with duct tape. <laughs> oh, shut up! To cover up the sensors. You're cover up. The, you're such a freaking cheater. Now you're getting it. And all those kids get what pissed the off. Hell? What's the How point? How come you have zero? Dude, are you serious? Please tell me you're kidding. I've never done it, but I've always wanted to oh do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> but can you imagine coming up the little sensor and the little kids been like, yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh. I have a story for that. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. One time, me. You share. One time, me and dad. Camp. Me and my dad were uh, playing laser tag. And. It's just me and him because it's 10 at night and no one's playing laser tag at main event at 10 at night. Oh. <laughs> Is that what I pushed you down? 
Well, yeah, it's same day. <laughs> same day. It was just the two of you yeah. playing laser tag? Yeah, same day that he watched me while shot me while I was limping away. <laughs> because I tripped on a ramp in the back. <laughs> so he's running. Oh, he trips. I go over there and shoot him. Yeah. Yeah, and that's all he's doing. He's laughing at me, shooting me. But I run away. I come back and I, qu- I he looked funny, but I didn't question it. He had put his vest under his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. You're a cheater. <laughs> you can't do that kind of stuff. You know, I didn't used to be like this, but Jeff inspired me. Me? Really? He did. Yeah, the gingerbread house. Yes, totally. No, I learned from the master right oh, here oh, you, because oh, the laser tag was well before the gingerbread, gingerbread house. cheater. No, no, no. He that's got with we, me before that. We I'm the only one that's the never Christmas been accused gingerbread of cheating. House. During Christmas time, everyone had blindfolds on. And I had sorry, one on. Huh? I had one on. Yeah. It was oh, not, you sure did until it was you not didn't. A, <laughs> it was not a neckerchief. It was to cover your eyes. I think Sean's deflecting. From his shirt covering up the laser tag. No, he brings up a good point. You cheated during the Christmas gingerbread competition. I, I admit it. He's not admitting it. God, who does that? I did. <laughs> Why? Because I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> you just wanted it over with? Want, yes. And you know what the funny part was? Like, we all had train well, wrecks. Do you my, know what the my, funny part was? Mine he had needed gone scissors. Through. He reached over there and picked them up. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, like, feel for the scissors on the table. Right. He went straight to the scissors and picked up the yep. scissors. Yeah, it was funny. And so, shit. but we we all took our blindfolds off and we're inspecting our our creation. Mine was immaculate. Oh, mine was like a a, 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 a category five hurricane, right? And another one was like completely. Just, <laughs> it was and then funny. we all turned and looked at yours and we're like, oh I know. my, it was funny. Yeah, enough. we were all like, oh my god, that's amazing. It was like he had yeah. enough time and you're like, to exactly. put the little. You were like, yeah, you know what? I'm yeah. good with I'm the good with this kind of stuff. on top. You, I know. You had time to do everything. <laughs> you were so full of shit. I had a backyard pool and. <laughs> <laughs> a little ladder. <laughs> a slide. The sand uh, was going down the chimney. Yeah. God. Anyway. Cheater. You think, uh, so So here's the other thing about Liquor King coming all full circle here. We The things that we saw the last time we were there, like, oh, we got to have that. It may not be there. No, it, yeah, So it we have no idea. By the time we have the points that we have, we're going to be looking at the board, so to we speak. We may have to wait. And then and they're just like, you know, there's nothing we really want up there. Yeah, we may have to wait. Because it's not just bourbons. They have all sorts of stuff. Most there. of it, ninety percent of it's bourbon. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I thought there well, was there, some. There's uh, there's scotch. There's an Irish. Yeah, I whiskey. thought there were some rare scotches um, or something like that. Could be, but most yeah. of it's bourbon. Like the well, all the Wellers, uh, the, you get the Blantons in there. Oh, I, I wouldn't get the Blantons. It's going to be a very difficult. Is that overrated? Purchase. I think it kind of is. I've never had it, but from what you said and what, from just what other people have told me, it's it's just like it eh. wasn't bad. But I mean, dude, we've gone. Th- we we tried 140 bourbons, and there were many that were better. Many, right? right. So it's not worth spending That's 300 bucks on a on a bottle of. Well, it's normally 50, 60 bucks. Hey, you right. know what? I think I'm going to quit my job. Ooh. And I'm going to be hired on as a bartender somewhere in a really nice place. Well, Just you can snag a bottle. Well, you can tout your. No, that way you guys can come sit at the bar and we can sample, sample. everything. You need but to you eat. can tout your your resume. Cruz, Jean Cruz, Jean Cruz. Oh, that, that was. Oh yeah. Oh, you can totally. I mean, they'll probably know you. Are you Jean Cruz? Oh well, <laughs> they're from the '80s. They knew me. Oh, they'll they'll know you. I'd be like cocktails, baby. Yeah. You need to get a job like rare. Books. Flipping the bottles the and stuff. Luba. Jamaica. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah. What? Know. That's not it? No, that was Rain Man. What no, was? That was. Uh, what are you talking about? Cocktail. What was your question? No, that's no, Rain Man, that song. Aruba, Jamaica. Oh, oh that's no, no, the no, beach no, that was boys. Cocktail. No, that was. Uh, du, du, du. It was the Beach Who boys. was the girl in Cocktail? Was that Elizabeth, Elizabeth Shue? Shue? yes. I've never seen Cocktail, and I love Elizabeth Shue. I need to go back and watch it. She's the girlfriend in Elizabeth Shue. Back Saint. to the Future. Back to the Future. Yeah, she replaced the the original girl and the Karate Kid. Was she on Karate Kid too? Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? Interesting. With your I was doing the crane kick. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we had, had a heart attack and yeah. a little cerebral palsy. Did, did you Did you hear that the karate the karate people uh, rescinded? Uh, they no longer recognize Putin's uh, karate belt. Well, he's like seventh degree belt of some. And, and they and something. they and they removed that honor from him. What? The Ukraine thing, the Ukraine thing, dude. All in Ukraine. Oh, it's very gonna, interesting, like how the world's responding to this. Like all the, you know, like shutting down airspace it's to Ru- so they're, they're, people difficult. are dumping out Ru- Russian vodka. People are countries are saying Russian planes can't land there. People, I mean, they're really that's an act of the, war. The sports world is like, like totally tearing up the the Russian 
The FIFA kicked him out of the World Cup. Kicked him out of the World Cup and all the tournaments and everything. I, I you know, I love it. I love to see. I, I love to see the unity behind. I'm, I'm a little nervous the because here's the thing. He's gonna get back into a corner. He's fucking seventy something years old. He made a statement the other day saying, "Hey, you know what? I, I just don't want to live in a world without a Russia." Who says that? Yeah, he's kind of psycho. That's my That's point. That's what they're worried about. And, and, and this, he's not going to send a nuke and be like, here's the lesson. I'm going to send a nuke. No, he's sending them all. Yeah, he. they're saying he. he's kind of getting backed into a corner, and, we're, and they're not sure what he's going to do. I think know? it'll be cyber. So if I'm sitting here at work and all of a sudden uh, the power goes out. You're going to be like. I'll be like. Damn it. Putin, it happened. Putin attacked. I don't attacked. know. And, and the thing is, you know, and, and, and again, I'm basing this also off of a book I read that uh, – what happens if the U.S.'s power goes out for 30 days? We all die. What do, you, what do you think would happen? I bet millions of people would die. They would die. Well, the food, yeah. food, food supply would people stop. Would, some people would starve, yes. Yeah. yeah. There, and we'd have, we'd have water issues because the water wouldn't be clean um, because we have processing plants that do that. Yeah. God, that, what a great, what a great question. Yeah. You know, they always talk about preppers and having the dried yeah, foods that to... make that last 20 years, all that kind of shit. I'm not ready. Well, they said I, could probably last, I could probably last a week. That's what I said. It was, it was a book I read. It was, this, it was like that exact scenario. They took out the entire right. power grid in the U.S. You know, and millions funny. of people died within the first 30 days. My, my brother was talking no, about fiction, this. And, uh, I don't think it is He fiction. was saying, he's, he, he, his response was, I'm going to live. Who? My brother. He says, I'll live right through it. I don't have a problem with it. He says, because guess what? When I run out of food, I'm taking yours. Not me, but his neighbors. Cause, See, yeah. and that's why people need to have guns in their house. Oh, that's true. Because when it gets zombie crazy, yep. and people are, are desperate, yeah, and they're coming for your food, and yeah. you're trying to eat your children. Fight or flight, you yeah. know. You got you to gotta, you gotta knock the zombies down. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you, how does one, I guess you got to boil your water. You'd boil your water, but on what? You'd have to get a fire yeah. out of wood. You know how to start wood. a fire without matches? Uh, you just whack off and take the friction. And oh, the friction. S- your sperm. Oh, friction from your. Oh, yeah. Really? So your penis gets really hot. You just touch it to the wood. <laughs> that's that's. <laughs> wouldn't, that, wouldn't that take visual. a long time? Oh, I've got really fast form. I mean, if it's so. that hot, just stick it the water. Oh, to you boil. get friction. Oh, my that fore- fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, your form. No, my forearms are are forearm. Yeah, they're like they're Popeye. In, in cr- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Popeye arm. <laughs> I got you. I, I don't know. There's. I mean, you have to. Get, that is an interesting notion. Thirty days uh, without power, um, most of the kids would go insane because uh, I think they don't have any outlet. They would. Yeah, they the video games. To, I think yeah, they would. The gaming I, systems. I think they would adjust pretty quick. Yeah, they would. <laughs> Give they it, wouldn't know what to fucking do. Well, no, they wouldn't. But they could I go think, play kickball. Yeah. <laughs> no, they would not. But yeah, they play hopscotch. <laughs> but your job would go away. Right. Yeah. There, there's no more job. I wonder if they would require you to pay your like your your, your premiums, your bank, <laughs> your your <laughs> bank note, your bank note. You your, know to pay. How your would house. you pay it? You're late on your <laughs> you're late on your health. You no know, one's gonna be able to pull money out. Oh, ATMs don't work. Banks can't do whatever. They're all computerized. So how are you gonna go in there again? Yeah, I want to pull out all my money in this account. Mm. I'm gonna cash in my 401k. This is a very uplifting conversation. Well, but it's it's a reality check. But you know what? It kind of is. Well, it's thirty days. You think thirty days of no power? If it went out March first, by April first, how many people would be dead? Okay, so hold on. Can so pumps pumps don't work? Phones wouldn't work. No, nothing would work. Phones and pumps. Your your so so in other words, you run run out of gas. So you run out of gas. Yeah, you can't get fuel. Well, 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 Jeff will have his uh, his cycling program set up. But they'll have a. Workout facility oh, yeah, 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 where, yeah, 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 where all generating. the people are cycling oh, and generating correct. power. Yes, yeah. correct. And then we also have masks on the assholes of cows. Yes. Correct. So Although, we, all, all those solar people are just like, suck it. Suck it. Like you were going to live at your house. Right. Because you're solar. Yeah, but it won't run without power. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works? It won't. There's inverters that run on power. Yeah, but could you no. jerry-rig it to where it could, could. run on itself? That your solar panels could run, you would have to have big batteries. I'm sure some MIT person could like come to my house and no. do that. I don't know how to do You're that. You're an engineer. I, I could hard, oh, hardwire for you. I, I'll hardwire for you. 
Oh. You have to regulate the power take somehow. The, Look take the you. electronics. Take the electronics part of it out of the equation. There's inverters that 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 take the power from the solar panels and convert it into usable power. Yeah, you just can't hotwire it. Yeah, you can't just <laughs> just stick it straight <laughs> He's in. He's up on my roof. <laughs> <laughs> you see Shaka <laughs> flying off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hot one. I'm a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd figure it out. We'd figure it out. No, because really, because uh, you just you get a bypass to charge up the batteries, and as long as you your output is what twelve volt, twenty four volt. No, I mean, how many batteries? Uh, you I, dude, I, it, let's not even speculate on how you can hot wire my my solar panels because I don't think that's a good option. Well, but uh, well, I mean, I, I guess we get well, we we could get on YouTube, but we have no power. In this scenario. That's why you got to figure it all out now. Now. Yeah. So I have to come up with a plan to hotwire my solar panels before the power gets nuked. Correct. So it doesn't an EMP do that? An electromagnetic EMP pulse? does, but they'll just hack and shut down the uh, the grid. You don't have to have an EMP anymore. That e- well, that EMP easy? doesn't last forever, though. Oh, an EMP fuses everything together. That fries, it, it makes it yeah. ruin. It, it has the potential to. It fries your... Oh, you have a way to stop it? No, I'm just saying it, it doesn't always. It, it just... Sometimes it just... Oh, well, how do we know how those damn things work? I think they they melt. It melts electronics. I don't know how. The Is that a neutron bomb? No. Well, it doesn't it's do anything an to the human body, but it does stuff to the... Uh... Look that up, Mr. Producer. EMP. How does... Ooh, how, speaking how... of bombs and stuff. Now, Putin is... Uh, he is delivering bombs or uh, shoot that are bombs. That illegal. Yes. Vacuum. That suck the oxygen out of yes, the vacuum the bombs. Air. Yeah, yeah, apparently it makes your insides explode or yeah, just it, compress. They breathe the the people breathe whatever's going on and it makes their lungs kind of explode. Yes. Yeah. What the hell? That's wrong. They shouldn't be using that. That's that actually it is illegal. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Does that go against the Geneva Convention? How does yes, it does. How does an EMP work? When detonated, an EMP weapon produces a pulse of energy that creates a powerful magnetic electromagnetic field capable of short circuiting wide range of electronic equipment. Particularly computer satellites, radios, radar receivers, and even civilian traffic lights. See, what would we do? We, would we go to an automatic four-way stop where everybody has to stop and stuff like that? See? Like a stop sign? That we die right there. Does an EMP permanently destroy electronics? An, energ- an energetic EMP can temporarily upset or permanently damage electronic equipment by generating high voltage and high current surges. Semiconductor components are particularly at risk. The effects of damage can range from imperceptible to the eye to devices literally blowing apart. So there's a wide range wide of wide range effects. So knowing my luck, everything in my house would be destroyed. <sighs> totally so destroyed. It's, it's called thermal, including my new weapons. Ninja Foodie. That's the vacuum. That's the vacuum. Yeah, bomb. that's that's pretty crazy. Well, he just he blew one up. Not too. I was reading the article because like, what the hell's a vacuum bomb? I never heard of it. It's a thermobaric. And he 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 blew one up not too long ago as a test, I think. Yeah. And it was the father of all bombs because you know you have the Moab, mother of all bombs. Um, yep. That uh, the Daisy Cutter, right? Yes. And I guess the father of all bombs, this thermobaric, is even bigger than that. He said it was the equivalent power of a nuclear bomb, a small nuclear bomb. Right. Good for him. So you talk about so the thermobaric gonna, bomb. So the thermobaric, yeah. Putin so blew the, one up. So the, he's gonna he's gonna drop one of those somewhere in Ukraine. So the the basically what this is Who the knows? first stage apparently already has charge distributes. No, no, that was a vacuum bomb in in Different. aerosol. That's the same thing. Is it's it? uh, made up yeah. of very fine material from a carbon based fuel to tiny metal particles. So the first stage charge distributes an aerosol made up of very fine materials from a carbon based fuel to tiny metal particles. The second charge ignites that cloud. Right. Creating a fireball, a huge shock wave, and the vacuum will suck all the surrounding oxygen out. That blast wave can last for significantly longer than a conventional explosive is capable capable of vaporizing uh, human bodies. Just like gone. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, what what I saw is that is Wonderful. the initial vapor like enters buildings. So it goes inside the buildings and then it, it ignites and then everything inside the building is gone. So you think I'm safe inside the building or safer maybe. Right. right, and all of a sudden, but wherever this gas can go is is your at toast. risk. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, everything sucks out, and your lungs get pulled through your mouth, and you know the whole nine yards. So, do you think anything can happen in this Ukrainian war that gets America pulled in? 
What no. can happen? Well, if they start unearthing um, evidence of uh, Biden's mis- wrongdoings. Um, <laughs> Hunter Biden. You know, well, Hunter and Joe. Well, he, may, yeah, he may throw people in there now so we can't let that out. I mean, well, right now, they're they're uh, based on what I just shared with you from AON News, said that now they have just named Joe Biden um, a potential what criminal charges. Or, you know, they got charges against Joe Biden because of the the quid pro quo, but they didn't say it because of that. He basically forced Ukraine to fire the investigator that was uh, charged to investigate Hunter Biden's right. uh, happenings with the Ukrainian uh, Energy Committee, whatever he Yeah, was he on. said he would not release, like, you know, $3 billion in aid no, until— it was a billion dollars. A billion? Yeah, yeah billion. A billion. He would dollars? not release a billion dollars in aid until they fired the prosecutor who was going well, after his son. you don't have the authority son. to do that. Well, yes, I do. And then did you do you hear the video of him bragging about it? Yeah. It was oh like, yeah. It was, yeah, we played it was like that. a news conference. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. no, I don't think it was a news conference. It was a leaked footage of of him in some, you know, given a, a closed door. Yeah, he was like, "Well, so, I said, like, I'm like gonna a, be on the a country club, for country club, by kind of bullshit." Six hours, you know, and he was son like, of a bitch. That was, did they uh, say I couldn't fire him? What did I do? I fired him. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I got it done. Yeah, he's a narcissist. He needs to go. You know, and, uh, 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 you know, Trump is a narcissist too. Uh, yeah, you know, of course. But man, I think uh, most folks who go for president are. You, you, I'm not saying gotta, all, but they, they, they have the be ego a little bit. But I, I just, I don't see it. I don't understand. I mean, you know, it, it, the fact that we are. It, what did he say? He said during the 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 speech yesterday that he's going to pull out the sixty million barrels uh, <clears throat> to to help out the world. That does nothing. It does nothing. D- that that's three days of fuel for the United States. We, we do twenty million it does barrels absolutely a day. Nothing. Yeah. Three million. So it's like, you know, if you really want to do something, why don't you re-enroll the Keystone pipeline right. and put those? Because they were like saying the, the Department of Energy woman. She was kind of like, oh yeah, we're going to build this this new thing in is it Ohio? Uh, the the, the Del- Intel plant. The Intel plant. Yeah. And we're going to put in ten thousand people, fifteen thousand, employ fifteen thousand people. Well, you knocked out fifty thousand in people by taking the Keystone Pipeline out of line, offline. So yeah, their argument now is, well, it's going to take two years before that Keystone comes no, online. No, it'll be. Oh it'll, no, it's, it, it's. But that's the, what they're saying. The yeah, Democrats. it's completely dismantled now. I mean, we're well, not dismantled, but I mean, to get it started up again would take another, another month or two months. Yeah, that's right. what I'm thinking. You know, <laughs> well, th- th- this this could be Anwar. Remember Anwar? Ye- vaguely, is that a, a dam? That's the Alaska. Uh, where they were going to drill up in Alaska. Oh, okay. Right? Just huge deposit of oil. Oh, right. And the libs and the environmentalists knocked it down a decade ago or more. Right. And uh, I saw on the news, it was probably the five yesterdays or whatever, they're like, if Anwar were to pass, that would have been online, and we would have had 100% pure American oil. Right. Fueling so, us right now. So Anwar, is that the, the Arctic National Wildlife yes. Refuge? Yeah. Yes, so, so, they're going to drill on it. It got shot down. So let's talk about. It. I mean, I I get the whole idealistic green energy, like you know, all that kind of shit. Green, clean energy, whatever. But Keystone Pipeline. What would have been the motivation for Biden to shut that down? Really, what's the agenda behind this? It? Is get- a huge chess game. So, in my opinion, shutting that pipeline down. And then two months later, uh, allowing Putin do to, Nord Stream. to do his pipeline right, Nord Stream. and circumvent Ukraine out of the mix so that he can run his oil and fuel to to Germany and Europe and supply them okay, and circumvent so, Ukraine. So are you saying that he deliberately he deliberately made America dependent on there is something he, going on. I'm telling you, I, I, there's a I, lot I'm, of unknowns here. I'm going to agree with you because we, we it doesn't make know. sense. There's, it doesn't there's make a chess sense. game. No. And I'm, like I mentioned in the last podcast, you know, you've got the Clintons. Um, and I don't necessarily want to say the Clintons, but you've got somebody authorized 20% of our plutonium to go to, to Russia. 
All right, for some reason, I right. don't know. It makes no you sense. You know, and I'm like, okay, well, look, if you don't want to throw stones at Hillary, you don't want to blame her. I don't give a fuck who you blame. But the fact of the matter is, the United States gave 20 percent of our uranium, not plutonium, the uranium, to uranium. Uh, to Russia. Right. All right. Whatever. It's, it's there now. They have it. So, you know, you've got that, and then months later, Biden shuts down, or a couple years later, it's all a chess game. Yeah, what is so, the end game? What so, are they trying yeah, to yeah. do? So let's let's just brainstorm this for a second. So by shutting down uh shutting down the pipeline, the Keystone pipeline, he maybe he's deliberately preventing United States from being able to be in energy independent and be energy in uh, um, being energy dependent on on countries that he's made deals with. Right? Well, I mean that, that that's kind of that's yes. kind of where this is I think heading. That, I think that's happening now, but this this goes back yeah. years and years and years and years and years. They're they're, no, they're Biden's been strumming in the green guitar for freaking forty five years. But I mean, so so really, is it is a is is it a green ideology, or think, is there I, is, I or is a, there a long game where they promise Russia, you know, closed door deals? You know, the Biden's family will I think, be I think will be rich for I billionaires think that plays for generations. Into it. I think that plays into it. But I think the end goal of the Democrats, liberals, is I want gas prices to get so high yep. that people start adopting and will be more accepting of the green fuel. And 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 what shutting down fuel? the Keystone Pipeline what is green part fuel? of that. Fuels that. What green Correct. fuel? Solar, wind, whatever and, it anything, is. Okay. Batteries. Anything but fossil fuels. Correct. All right, so I'm gonna make it so expensive. People that start they going. Have to do it. They have to. All right, batteries. I'm gonna have to get the battery. Because I can't afford gas anymore. Uh, you man. might be right. You, you, I think you're right because otherwise it would be so sinister and so like so unbelievably selling your country out, you know, just for your selfish. But that's exactly what they're doing because I don't agree with the the green stuff because everybody everybody really knows the only people that don't know are the people that are drinking the Kool Aid. You know, everyone knows that it takes more fossil fuels to charge the electrical uh, cars, period. Right. So of the, course. the notion that, you know, we're going to have these... But people don't these, think of that. Well, that's my well, point. They don't think about it. Because we're, we're talking about what is the big picture here. <clears throat> right. All right. That is the facade. That's the farce. That's, the, that's what they're trying to say the direction we're going. And that's the reason why we're doing. But that can't be because we know that's wrong. That's a lie. Well, but here's, here's the thing. It, it depends, right? So having electric cars, the majority of electric cars on the road, right, definitely cuts down on emissions, right? But, but I, I know what you can say, but those emissions, you know, are going to come from the power plants. Yes. Correct. But the reality is, I mean, so my, I was asking my sister, right? She, are you she, saying the power plants are cleaner? No. So my sister has a Tesla. Okay, and so I was asking her. I was like, "Well, oh, look at me! I've got a Tesla." Right. So I, I was like, you know, and she doesn't drive it. She drives a Nissan. Uh, I mean, the Toyota Pathfinder uh, yeah. Highlander. Well, let's Highlander. all be honest. We and, all would and, own a Tesla because they're cool. No, nah, I mean, I you would know what? locally. Yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not bad. They're not bad. Anyway, so, um, so I asked her, how long does it take to charge? And you know, d is was there a major increase in your electricity bill? Like, like, did you notice? Right. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. Correct. It is the number of kilowatts that your house is now being charged for. And she said, "No, we never noticed an increase in our electricity bill." So if that's true, then this then this argument of you know, well, you know, power plants are running. You know, is that what she said? Yeah, she said her electricity bill did not go up. Now that she charges no, her I think, Tesla, I, th I think we're so I don't think it's as, as dramatic as we're making it sound like. Where no, I think there are some people who think I'm going to drive this because it's 100 percent green. I disagree. I'm driving. There are people no, out there I, that drive with that. I, that. That I drive this because it's 100 percent green because they can't see beyond. But well, what's actually powering my car? Okay, but it's, they it can't not, see that. I, it, I get it, but it may not be 100 percent green. <clears> in but California, it's definitely, if you're if you're not using more electricity than you normally do or not much, right? Then the fact that your car does not emit shit, well, is better for the environment. The, the, That's what in they're California arguing. they are prohibiting you from recharging your electrical cars uh, because of the rolling blackouts. They're like, all right, from this time to this time, you're not allowed to charge your cars. Well, that, that goes for any electricity usage. I mean, brownouts. Right? Well, but, I mean, well, but the thing is, is there? does is our current infrastructure? If we went full electric, full electric, it couldn't support it. Well, do you know that for a fact? Yes, I studied it. Uh, you are, I know it. 
I knew it. Uh, I pulled so the encyclopedia. And you were withholding this information. I had Encyclopedia yeah, Britannica, you, you, and I there, looked at it. <laughs> you, there are so many other no, variables involved. Did you read involved. that? Did you actually read that somewhere? I mean, did you where, a, where are you going to dispose all those 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 batteries? Well, that's the thing. And the, to replace a battery, do you know how much it costs to replace a battery it's in like, one of those cars? It's like seven to ten grand. Yeah, over ten grand. Well, I mean, but that 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 is on the consumer to to pay for. I mean that that makes the cost of ownership for a Tesla. You know more than you know what they would maybe expect, but well, that, but well, that's not an environment thing. Well, it is because it is where does that where does that battery that. go? Okay, but is, are you are you suggesting that the battery leaks into the environment? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, then the, you know hopefully there's responsible disposal of the battery, <laughs> right? You, you would you, hope, you, but you see where I'm going with this. I mean, yeah, but where 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 is that going to be? Because for, based on what I was reading. Is that these batteries are huge? They're about the size of this fucking table, right? And that's bigger than the Tesla car, though. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. No, they it's the entire bottom of the car. Yeah, it, they're, these they're interesting. Well, it's not one little nine volt. It's it's, oh, it's disturbing it's because the there are <laughs> you know the the fact of the matter is we we don't trust AAA our government. Batteries. <laughs> we regardless who it is, we don't trust our government. We don't trust them at all. And I, we think that they're pieces of shit, and we think they're conniving, and they think they're we're, they're it's a huge chess game. And they think we're dumb. They do know. think we're dumb. Well, you you mentioned something. They don't care. They don't care the, if, they, the they don't care here, if we're Paul. smart or dumb. They you don't were care. talking about uh, you know what's going on in Ukraine could be eye opening because there's you know Putin may be frustrated, and he may and you know there's a lot of Ukrainians that are upset with Joe Biden, and you know yeah, he's what's been... in Ukraine that they don't want to to disturb. You know, even to the point where George Soros like was like, "Well, I don't think Russia needs to be uh, getting into Ukraine." Yeah, he was Why? even critical. He so was even critical of it, the Russian. Is there invasion. something there? You know, because I've heard, I've heard this black sites there where they've got bio labs. Um, mm. they've got a, a naval bio base labs. there. Bio, bio labs. labs where they create bio weapons. Oh, like like, Wuhan? like the Ukrainians yes. or the U.S. U.S. The United States of America. You say Uranians? I said Ukrainians. I what did yeah, you the Uranians. <laughs> I didn't hear a K there. <laughs> the Uranian. I, I didn't hear one now that I think about it. I, I heard hear Uranians. The Ukrainians. <laughs> Cockhead. <laughs> Those Uraniums. The Uraniums. Uh, Damn. Damn. Yes. Between you and Paul, you fucking polished off that Rebecca yeah, Creek bottle, did. didn't you, man? Look I've been that. fighting well, off. Well, we kill half a bottle every show. I've been fighting off doing a refill here, so... Anyway, I'm, I'm not I've got a full drink. I am not because I've got my my man inspection tomorrow. Oh, and what? my my anal probe. So do you oh. really? Yes. Oh, well, no, not a colonoscopy. Not Just a colonoscopy, but the, the whole wig- wiggly yearly physical. Oh, that's right. You're going to have the woman play with your balls and just stick is it a woman? Really? It is a woman. She does play with my small balls. little tiny hands. She will. She will she caress the them? prostate. Okay, so here's no, what's interesting. Not. Hold on, I, I thought I thought they 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 jostle the balls and they feel like no, there's something going on. So I, I did some years. research on this because we've had multiple podcasts talking about the size of the finger and how far it goes up there. Oh, yeah. So I did some research. <gasps> the average female finger is shorter than the male's finger, which there means you go. which means Sh- she very... has to use most of her fist. Yeah, <laughs> <The> prostate <laughs> so is think, not a foot up your duodenum. I, I I think there's something. Does she use two fingers? I think there's something else going no. on here. So the finger goes in a little bit, and then the fist goes in in your. I, I don't or does yeah. she start with the thumb? I don't believe the prostate is like a full foot. I don't know. Into your, I think it goes your, all the way up to her elbow. It's like right inside. And it's kind of like, and, and she, you can feel her rub the so curvature like, I think of she it. Tickles the inside of your taint. It's like pulling no. a baby horse out of a of a horse's womb. I don't you know. know. She's got to get that big arm I, I just, sleeve. Give me I this just, little pencil. <laughs> and give me this little I just pencil. Think there's more going on with arm, this. That arm condom. Just the big right. Oh, you like the cows. She's like, <laughs> yeah. If she put that on, I'd be Bend like, over. Yeah. If she put, that, you, she puts like a rubber, rubber band on it. <laughs> um, Man, we spent a lot of we spent like, a lot of time on on doctors thinking. Do you know fingers I still have rectums. yet to do it? Go with and me tomorrow. That's ridiculous. We yeah. can have a couple's prostate no, I, I've exam. I've had it done, but in fact. <laughs> <laughs> I've yet to have. I think we've the, covered uh, that too. <laughs> what is it? The prostate? Not the prostate. What is the the? You get a discount, a group discount. Uh, what is the one where you you got to go in there and you do the, the stick the thing in your butt? The, the, the colonoscopy. Probe. Yeah, I haven't got a colonoscopy yet. 
You're we supposed are, to do that when you turn 50. And we already got mad at you about that. Well, I mean, it's it's in the work workings to get done. What, what, so, what's, what's that mean? Well, I have... This is uh, not a five-year plan. Well, I mean, You call the doctor and you say, I, I would like a colonoscopy. the very next day. Did you? Yeah, and I scheduled it the very next day. And, and then, uh, they were like, great, so we'll see you in April. I said, okay, That's cool. good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm and, encouraged. And it's not, yeah. it's not bad. No, 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 no. I didn't schedule the colonoscopy. I oh, scold, The I, physical. I, I scheduled a full physical. Gotcha. Yeah. Then then from there, what you'll do is you'll get the, the referral to the colonoscopy. Yes. That's where they'll have all, all the fun. And... The, the actual procedure is not that bad. It's the day before it's that no is so bad. no big deal. No big deal. It really is. Dude, I'm going to die of ass cancer. <laughs> just because you're terrified of somebody sticking just, their that's finger That's how Farrah up Fawcett him. died. Yeah. Well, I mean, my, my grandfather cancer. died of ass cancer. Okay, but that's that's different but than... But she was good looking. Right. I don't really compute on this one. Yes. Well, she died of but ass on, cancer nothing... for, for... Was it because she had... Her prostate was enlarged. No, she had, <laughs> she had anal cancer. Yeah, that's but... what she died of. How do you get anal, anal cancer? cancer? I don't know how you, how get, do you, you get smoke. That? Uh, that's like colon cancer. But it's like on your anus, I guess. I don't know. No, hold on. There's, there's not anus cancer. Are you sure? There's anal cancer. <laughs> yes. That's like chap lips. What how? the hell, man? <laughs> really? How do Look, you, I mean, is that Mr. really producer, a thing? How did, anal, Farrah, anal cancer? how did Farrah Fawcett die? She didn't have anus cancer. She had yes, colon she cancer. No, she, it says anal cancer. Well, that's probably from the butt loop she was using. Oh. Had some carcinogens in it. Yeah. A little carcinogenic little butt lube. Yeah. But from go. the sit and spin she would use. Farrah Fawcett. F A R R A H. Wow, we're just trampling all over that beautiful woman's grave. Oh, well, you know what? Just, is, <laughs> Look at that. Liver of anal cancer. Anal, anal cancer. cancer. So hold on. I, I, I want a little elaboration on that. So what is anal cancer? Is it anal? Is it? Does that mean it's like two inches in? That sounds awful. It says it was caused by HPV. So what is HPV? Oh no, human pampelona virus. So that's oh. the that's where they were trying to force a the teen girl virus. Hold on, that was uh, Sean. That was the one where they trying to force teen girls to get the the vaccine. Yeah, HPV vaccine. They ca- I guess it causes. They're trying to mandate it. It causes anal and cervical cancer. Shit. This that's no way yeah, for a beautiful have it women a to die. A little bit harder than we do when it comes to certain regions, certain things. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't want to deal with the the whole mess they got going down there. You know, cervix cancer it is. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Well, we have testicular cancer. I'll just cut those fuckers off. They're in my wife's purse anyways. <laughs> she wears them around the neck. His yeah, earrings. Yeah. You oh, know yeah. what? I, I asked my brother that. Uh, when I did my long... Oh, we should talk about my trek to Tucson, but I asked about, do they cut off the balls when they do serve, uh, testicular cancer? I don't think I so. I have no idea. Yeah, they do, either. and they put some falsies in there. We should cover that in the next podcast. All right, we can do that. Yeah, noted. All right, dudes like us, I'm Sean. I'm Paul. And I'm Jeff. We failed to introduce us. We just did. We just did. A little late. Hi, bye. Rebecca Creek.